Hello, my lovely scientists. Welcome to Joy Learning Basic Classroom. My name is Eric Osu, your science facilitator. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Joy Learning TV, Joy Learning TV, and watch most, most of our lessons over there. You will enjoy them. All right, today class is for basic four. Basic four. And our topic for today is how to make water safe for you. So making water safe for use. Making water safe for use. Okay. Let's look at our objectives for today. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify sources of water, where we get water from. You identify the source. Two, discuss at least three qualities of good drinking water. Good drinking water, how does it look like? Number three, give at least four ways of making water safe for drinking. How do we make water safe for drinking? And four, list at least three diseases caused by drinking contaminated water. So, when you drink contaminated water, what happens to you? Hmm. All right, so we look at that. And lastly, state at least four uses of water. Four uses of water. Very good. So, let's get started. Now, when we talk of water, water is a chemical compound made up of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Now, we have so many elements in this world. We have about 118 elements that forms the universe or the earth, our earth. Now, water has two of those elements. The element called hydrogen and oxygen. And these two elements, when they come together, they form water. There are two gases that come together to form a liquid substance called what? Water. And water is a universal solvent. When we say universal solvent, that means it dissolves most substances. Most substances can dissolve in water. So if you have even poison dissolving in water, you will not be able to not, uh, notice it. So about 70% of the planet Earth is made up of water. So water is very, very important. Or 70% of our Earth is made up of water. Water can exist in three states. Solid, ice, liquid, that is water, and gas, water vapor. So these are the three states of water. Water is so essential for our existence. So without water, we cannot survive. And that is why we must take very good care of our water bodies. But let's look at our starter for today. You have to mention any five uses of water. So anything you can use water for. You use water today. So mention any five uses of water as our starter for today. And your time starts right away.
All right, so welcome back. So let's look at some uses that you wrote down. So you drink water, right? So we drink water. Water is used for cooking. Now, we use water in a fire extinguisher to, to put out fire, to extinguish fire. We use water to, to do what? Bath, so bathing. And water for washing our clothes. Water for watering plants. So these are some uses of water. Okay, I hope you wrote a lot, a lot down. All right. So, we get water from various places. We get water from so many places. So we say sources of water. Where we get water, we say source of water. And you know some of those places that we get water from. Is that not so? All right. So therefore, take your notes and pens and write down any of the five sources. Any of them, just write five down for me right now. And your time starts now in just a minute. Five sources of water. All right, so let's look at the sources that you wrote down. So, source of water, we have spring water, spring water coming out from the air. So, you can see spring, we have, we get water from river. So, that's another source. From the sea or the ocean, from the sea. Then we have the lake, lagoon, stream. So all these are sources from your tap in your various homes, and then pond water. Some of you also get water from borehole. So you fetch your water from borehole, and also rain. Rain, when it's rain, we collect the rain water. So all these are sources of water. So we have the stream, river, reservoir, rain well, tap, pump, and pond, a lot of them. So all these, these things are sources of water. Now, we have Dangers in drinking contaminated water. Water can be very dangerous if it is not well treated. And some of the diseases that you can get from drinking contaminated water. And that is why we must make sure that water is always kept clean. That we don't destroy them. And we have some of the diseases we can get by drinking contaminated water. Typhoid. Typhoid. So, we also have guinea worm, as you can see on the screen. Guinea worm and dysentery. Dysentery, you can also 
get cholera by drinking contaminated water. And that is why we must make sure that we get our water treated well before we take them. So, good drinking water, how does it look like? So, qualities of good drinking water. So, it is odorless. It means that it does not have any smell. The water that we drink shouldn't have any bad smell. Any bad smell. So, it is odorless. Two, a good drinking water does not contain any visible solid particles. No visible solid particles. Like you have sun and other matter in the water. A good drinking water is not contaminated. No unhealthy toxins or chemicals. There shouldn't be any chemical in a good drinking water. The water is also rich in minerals. So like the calcium, the magnesium, and the rest. Okay, so when you buy your sachet water, you look on it. The minerals component have been written on them. A good drinking water must also have what? Be tasteless, does not have any bad taste. So these are qualities of a good drinking water. Odorless, it does not have any smell, does not contain any visible solid particles like sand, leaves, and all those things. It is not contaminated by any chemicals. It is also rich in minerals, and it is tasteless. So these are some examples of quality of good drinking water. Now, how do we make water safe for drinking? You know, we can get very dangerous diseases if we are not able to make our water safe for drinking. So how do we get water safe for drinking? One method is filtration method. Now, the method used to separate insoluble solid particle sand from liquid water. So when you go to the riverside, or the stream to fetch water and the water is very muddy, how do we treat it? Sometimes we use what you call filtration method. And with the filtration method, you have what you call filter paper and a funnel, a beaker. So as you pour the water onto the filter paper, the water will drain through the filter paper into the beaker. And that water is called filtrate. And the sand particle that remain on top of the filter paper is called residue. And also, you know, various villages, you can use your clean handkerchief to filter water. You can also use foam. You use foam to filter water. And remember, this type of, this method will not get the germs or bacteria in the water kill. They can pass through the filter paper. So after doing this, the next stage, you can even boil them. You can even boil the water after this stage so that you make the water very, very safe for you to drink. So filtration method will make the water clean. But if you make it pure, free from all germs, you can go ahead or further to also to boil the water to kill the germs or any bacteria that may be present in the water. So we have filtration method. Okay. And with the filtration method, now you can also use this type. A time, if you don't want the filter paper one or your clean handkerchief or clean scarf or clean cloth or foam, you have this method whereby you have the sun, charcoal, gravel being put in a particular container. So as you pour the impure water, the water that is not pure, into the, those layers, the sand, the charcoal, the gravel will filter the water. It will filter the water, and then they get the clean water out into your container, as you can see on your screen. So sand, charcoal, gravel in a layer, you pour the impure water, water that is not pure, 
into it. It will filter them nicely and separate the impurities from the water and get the clean water into your container for storage. So this is one way to filter them. Another method is desalination. That is, when we say desalination, that you are removing salt from the water. Desalination, the process of removing salt from the water. Or you can also say distillation. Distillation. So even the sea water, you can make it safe for drinking. Now, in the lab, you can do this method. You get the water, for example, salty water or sea water that contains the salt into the distillation flux, as you can see on your screen. Now, as you apply the heat onto the water in the distillation flux, the vapor rises. When the water gets heated, the vapor rises through the condenser. So when it gets to the condenser, it cools down and gets collected into the conical flux as distillate. So in this case, the solid, which is the salt, will remain behind and will not be part of the water. So take note of that. And when you taste that water, you will not taste any trace of salt in the water. And this type also kills the germs and the bacteria that may be present in the water. Okay, so desalination or distillation is one way of making water safe for drinking. And desalination is the process of what? Removing salt from water. Example, the sea water. Okay. Now, another way we can get water clean for drinking is by adding alum, addition of alum. As you can see, you can buy alum. Now, when you pour alum into water, now some water, uh, you have fine, fine sand particles in the water. Because they are so tiny and fine particles, they cannot settle down so they make the water so dirty but when you pour alum into the water the alum will come together uh, the fine particles will now come together we call it in science we say coagulate they will coagulate or coagulation so they will come together and form large particles so when they become very large they can now settle because they are now heavy they cannot settle down under the bottom of the container as you can see on your screen so the fine particles coagulate they come together and settle under the bottom of the container. So all they have to do is that you just decant. You pour out the clear liquid into another container, and the water is now clean for you. So addition of alum. Another method is addition of iodine, iodine crystals. So you can see on your screen, the water can be very dirty, but when you pour iodine, a little bit of iodine crystal into them, it makes the water very, very clean. Now, this method can be used by an expert. If you pour too much iodine, it can be harmful to you. So you leave that one to the experts. So a little bit of iodine into water will get the water very, very clean for you. So one way of making water safe for drinking, addition of iodine. Another method is addition of chlorine, that chlorine gas. And when you add chlorine to water, it also kills the germs and any bacteria that may be present in the water. So the water that gets to our various homes through our tap, it is treated with chlorine. And then this water is filtered and then pumped into our various pipeline and into our various home through our taps. So when you add chlorine to the water, it kills the germs 
And this method can only be carried out by an expert. So Ghana, for instance, the water treatment plant, before they get the water treated, they pour chlorine to kill the bacteria that may be present in the water. And then they pump the water to, through our various pipes to our various hopes. So chlorine or chlorination, the process is what you call chlorination, adding chlorine. One, another method, the fifth method is by boiling. By boiling, when you boil the water, it kills germs, viruses, bacteria, or parasites that may be present in the water. So when you boil the water, you keep it down for it to cool down so that you can drink them. And this method will kill germs, bacteria, or any parasite that may be present in the water. Good. Now, so what have we learned today? We talk about sources of water. Sources of water. But before then, we made mention of water. We said water consists of what? Two elements. And these elements are what? Hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, they come together to form a liquid substance known as what? Water. And we made mention of sources of water. You can get water from streams, rivers, lakes, sea. Then we look at qualities of a good drinking water. The good drinking water should be tasteless, should be free from any toxins. All right. Then ways of purifying water. You can boil the water, you can use chlorine, adding chlorine, adding iodine crystals. You can filter it and all that. Now, we also look at dangers in drinking contaminated water. We must make sure that our water bodies are kept very clean. We don't mine in the water bodies because it will pose danger to our health. So other than that, when you drink contaminated water, you can develop a lot of diseases like cholera, typhoid, and the rest. Then we also look at uses of water. What we use water? We use water for so many things. That is why water is very, very important to our survival. If you, you destroy our water bodies, no human being can survive. We cannot survive. So it is better we keep our water bodies safe for today and future use. Okay, so let's look at our assignment for today. With a wall label diagram, you are to describe how sea water can be desalinated. With a wall label diagram, describe how sea water can be desalinated. So there's one method that we can use to make the sea water safe for drinking. What is that method? So a wall label diagram, get the diagram drawn nicely and write a detailed description under it and send it to us at Joy Learning TV at myjoyonline.com, email address joylearningtv at myjoyonline.com and we will give you the feedback. So write the assignment down.
All right, so my lovely learners, this is where time will allow us. So as I said, you do the assignment and send it to us. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Joy Learning TV, at Joy Learning TV, and watch most of our lessons over there. Well, this has been your science facilitator, Eric Ousu. So we meet again. Joy learning, keep learning. Bye-bye.